I served from 1989 to 93 in the U.S. Navy. Uh, 93 to 98, the U.S. Navy Reserve, and 98 to 2001 in the U.S. Army Reserve. Um, I served during Desert Storm in 1991. I started training for to be with the Hilo crew to work on the, the Hilos on board our ship. And uh, the one Hilo I was working with, uh, the day before I decided that I wasn't going to go on their their reps because they were uh, we were unwrapping with uh, the Nimitz, uh, taking on board uh, ordnance, and I lost all four of my friends on board that that Hilo. Um, that was one moment uh, that started my PTSD. After I lost my friends on the Hilo. Um, Basically, we pulled in port, but I had had a few attacks, and and basically, my doctor on board the ship just said, you know, go out, have a few drinks, get with your friends, and you'll get over it. Well, I did that for 20-some years, and I never got over it. I ended up with uh, four DWIs. On my fourth DWI, I figured out that, you know, it's time to start talking about it. Um, I need help. I can go to the grocery store now without having a panic attack or an anxiety attack. She just helped me in so many ways. If, if I'm having a night terror, she'll come up and she'll actually take her head and she'll lift my head to wake me up. She'll lick me. Um, if she has to, she'll put a pause and everything, you know, uh, on my chest. Um, and then when I do wake up, that's it. she'll lay over and she'll put her head right here. And just for comfort, you know, um, it, she just, these, these service dogs are amazing and they're saving veterans' lives. You know, they are so important. I wish the VA would see that. It's just amazing what all I'm able to do now that I wasn't able to do before and I sure wish I would have had this opportunity you know and would have been diagnosed a lot sooner but uh you know we are where we're at and now we're just trying to give back as much as we can you know the more veterans we can get a dog to the better you know and and it's like I said it's a gift that was given to me that I want to be able to give back to another vet. She's the biggest gift that's ever been given to me besides my daughter. Um, she has changed my life. I, I will forever be grateful to uh, Patriot Assistant Dogs and Linda and everybody else that helped me through this. Don't hold it in for well, for me, it was 24 years that uh, I tried to drink it and get over it. And, um, uh, you know, if you got a CVSO, a county service veteran officer, go up, see them, get the help. There's, there's, there's lots of help out there. Um, you know, if you're diagnosed um, with PTSD, panic and anxiety attacks, there, there's places to sign up. Patriot Assistant Dogs is a wonderful place. Um, you can sign up, um, get on the waiting list, and and possibly have your dog. Um, but you know, biggest thing is, is is asking for help. It's it's the toughest thing for us as veterans to do is ask for help. Um, I didn't do it, and, and like I said, it took four DWIs for me to finally figure out that I needed to ask for help, you know. So ask for help, get it, it's out there. There's lots and lots and lots of uh, ways to go about it. You know, whether it's contacting your local VA, your county service veteran officer, you know, or talk to your fellow veterans. You know, um, the VFWs, the American Legions, AMVETS, there's, there's lots of ways to go about getting help.